rock I ever seen. What's so cool about it? Well, I like I never seen a rock at like this before. The poop truck is here. Look at the size of that spider. Dude, get out of here with that crazy Good morning, Blackberry Ridgians. How are we today? Like you can answer me. Um, well, you can answer me in the comments. Answer me in the comments, tell me how your day's going. My day so far is great. Got up, got a good workout in, took Pippa to school, there we go. Took Pippa to school and uh, got up, went to the office and now I'm up here at the barn with Duke. Duke's running around. It is, today is a Tuesday. Today, Marmy and Pappy get in town. So we're excited about that. The girls are excited. Amber and I are going uh, out of town back to Chicago uh, tomorrow. So Marmy and Pappy came in to work on the barn and help us out with the kiddos with Pippa and Palmer. So what are we doing today? Today, uh, I am waiting on the Jays to get up here. The Jays are coming up here later to uh, continue on some columns. We started on the columns yesterday. It was just Monday and I was having to run all over and uh, do crazy stuff. And hey, I know you got an itch that needs scratching. Hey, I'm trying to shoot a video. You're making noise. You're distracting. You are distracting. Hey. Hey, come here. Show everybody how trained you are. Come here. Sit. Sit. Show them. Good boy. You want to say hi to everybody? So, uh, the Jays are coming up here uh, yesterday, Monday. Crazy day. Monday's in my business. Mondays and Fridays are always... Pretty hectic, um, so they're tough to break out the camera. But yesterday we started on the columns, met the guys up here, got a great um, got a great uh, plan in place. They got a little bit up, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. But today ought to go a whole lot faster because we did all the thanking, the thunking yesterday. So they're gonna. I'm waiting on them to get here. Uh, while I'm waiting on them, I'm gonna finish off this little section of sheathing right here that I didn't get done last week. And uh, and then we gotta start under the stairs and do that little bit as well to the bathroom. Then we gotta finish framing the bathroom. We'll probably do that while Marmy and Pappy are here this weekend. And if you haven't noticed behind me, there used to be a hole right here. There's no longer a hole. We installed that door yesterday. Uh, something I couldn't do. The door's just too big. I couldn't do that by myself on Sunday. And uh, Tate, the intern, was certainly not qualified to help me with that. So I had the Jays do it yesterday while they were up here. And they slapped that in. And I bought the uh, rough cedar to trim it out with. And it looks pretty good. So uh, I'm going to get on this. You'll see that here in a minute. But what I'm going to go do right now is go show you the columns, what we've done so far. Uh, just to show you kind of the components, what we're working with here. Uh, you can see we've got our uh, eight foot posts that Tate stained the other day. We've got our two by 12 rough cedar, all of it's rough cedar. So I'm gonna take you out here real quick and show you what. So we've gone into a little bit about what all these post bases are for. I know a couple of you have asked in the comments, you know, what exactly is that for? And it's because we've got such a large cantilever of this section of roof right here. It's a six foot section, but it's also kind of serving another purpose. It's breaking up uh, this long black Noah's Ark looking wall. So, uh, so yeah, so there it is right there. That's how we ended up uh, putting it up in real life. And just imagine that all the way down uh, three more times. So what we've done is uh, taking our common measurement, which is whenever we measured from the, uh, I'm not flipping you off. It looks like I'm flipping you off. I'm not flipping you off. This finger is not fully bent. 
not flipping you off. And these fingers are straight. See? Not flipping you off. What we've done is um, measured from the top of the column to the bottom of the fascia. And we took each measurement and we ended up rolling with the um, largest measurement. And that was our universal measurement for every single one of these. Because Daniel built these columns to be the exact same height all the way down. So we took that measurement and that is what's going to plane out our fascia up here to all be nice and flat and smooth. So that's how we knew exactly how to cut each length of post and then what we did was you can kind of see it all work together right here actually so we had those blocks in there before uh in fact you can probably still see some down here let me roll down here so you can see that block right there we had those in here but we decided to pull those out and and put the rough cedar in because I really didn't like how low they were anyway. So we cut them to just be as short as we could cut them. And then we fastened the 2x12, screwed it in from the back side um, into the fascia board out front. And then we notched our post for that 2x12 to receive that 2x12 perfect. So um, it is a much cleaner look. I'm very happy with the way all that ended up coming together. Uh, here's another really good look of it right here. If the camera will pick it up because it's kind of dark. The sun's there we go. Perfect. So you can see how that's notched in and it sits in there really, really, really nice. So it looks really sharp. Uh, so we got to do that four more times all the way down. And uh, when the Jays get here, <clears throat> I'll let him have his little camera time. I'm sure he's going to want to talk on camera. Who doesn't want to be on the Blackberry Ridge channel? And uh, we'll do a time-lapse video of the guys putting them all up. One other thing I wanted to show you uh, before we moved on. Some of you might have noticed it. Some of you might not have. But <clears throat> these little plastic bases here. We put those on all of our porch posts. We put them on all of our posts where a post is going to make contact with concrete or the ground or um, anywhere that a post can sit flat on something and have the opportunity for water to sit all the way around the porch post. That's the number one killer for these porch posts. In five years, you'll already have noticeable water damage if you take those all the way down and let them sit on there. Um, water will just soak in and that'll constantly stay wet and it'll just eat away and eat away at your wood. So they make the, this version, they make a metal version. I didn't like the metal version in this application because it comes up way up the uh, sides of the board. We didn't need that here. So these are screwed on from the underneath side and then they're actually, oh no, that's not very stout. So we'll end up centering those in and uh, we'll end up putting a, a, a tap con we'll drill down through through the base into this top and we'll put one or two tap cons in here and then we're going to trim it out with one by four or one by six all the way around it so that's what we got going and uh, until the jays get here you're going to probably just watch me put sheathing up oh boy There's our notch cut for our 2 by 12 to fit into. Get out of here with that crazy.
and here's how we achieve that notch cut if they will go faster. Much go, faster. I'm gonna go faster. So he's marking it over an inch and three quarter. Inch and three quarter, or are you mm -hmm. going to two? Inch, inch and three quarter. Inch and three quarter. There's a notch on that speed square that allows him to do that, which is nice. It's these notches here, they'll hold the pencil, and you can drag them down some. And then we just make a bunch of cuts. Set the depth to an inch and three quarter, or just look at the line. Just look at the line. And hiya. Now he's going to fully plan down the sides. And then he'll do that same thing on this other side and then we'll take a sawzall to cut it all out. Saws all with uh, questionable blade, but it's what we have. So, the blades aren't any good. There's a reason I guess they were ninety nine nine ninety nine for twelve <laughs> for seventeen thousand <laughs> by the pound. Very much like a planer, I can go across the surface and get the high stuff down. Good. And that's how you uh, make a notch with modern power tools. Could have done it with a handsaw if we needed to. Yeah, could have done it with a handsaw, but that would have sucked. All right, so length. Okay, so let me go show you the north side because that's where they just got started. Duke here. And then, uh, and then I'll show you the south side, which is done. And then we'll end this video. So he's set up here. He really hasn't done anything over here, so there's really not much to see, but uh, he is set up here, ready to go. Uh, he's got three posts cut now, three of the five. So he'll be after that here in just a little bit. So let me get over here to the south side and you can check it out from there. Rock I ever seen. What's so cool about it? Well, I like, I never seen a rock app like this before. Why, what's so cool about it? I like that all the color it is and how smooth it is and how it feels. Did you have a good day of school today? Uh-huh. Good. Okay, so here it is done. That looks awesome. Looks really, really, really good. My mom was talking about wanting some brackets off of these guys, off of these. What do you guys think? Do you want brackets or do you not want brackets? I think it personally it looks really good without them. I think it doesn't need the brackets and I think it'll look really bad if we add the brackets. So I don't think it'll look really bad. I think it'll look not good. So anyways, that's it for uh, this and this video today. I'm excited for what I got coming this weekend, but uh, I'm more excited. Amber and I are going to Chicago here for the rest of the week and Marmy and Pappy are going to be here. I don't know if they'll film or not, if I can talk them into it. 
But then we got something really cool coming this weekend. I uh, don't want to give too much away, but uh, next week the videos will start dropping for it. A little collaboration we're doing. And I think you'll really, really want to check those out. So anyways, that's us. it for us today. The, uh, the poop truck is here. The poop truck is here and it just cleaned out the bathroom and it smells. <laughs> Oh, so bad right now. Oh, that's so bad. <coughs> oh. Okay, that's it for us. We'll see you next time up on the ridge. <laughs>